What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. This is Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on today's video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. If you come through and view my video, be sure to hit that like button. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. And if you, um, if you come through, make sure you subscribe and share the video. Also, if you want to have me hop on the panel or you want to collaborate with me, you can reach out to me on my email address at knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Again, it's knockoutboxing, the number eight, the number six, at yahoo.com, bro. And don't forget to comment down below. I want to chop it up with y'all and talk boxing with you, but I can't do that unless you leave a comment. So be sure to comment down below so we can chop it up and talk boxing. But without further ado, let's get it popping, bro. And we got some Manny Pacquiao news, none, news, news, announcement, and non announcement, and announcement type of shit going on yet again so it's some stuff that's breaking back to back to back bro first of all they're saying um that all of a sudden his fight that was supposedly scheduled with terrence crawford that was supposed to they were supposed to be negotiating is now off the table bro that the deal fell through i don't know who's reporting this shit i don't care who's reporting this shit the shit is non-news in my opinion bro as i've been saying on this channel manny pacquiao will never fight terrence bud crawford bro and that's, that's due to Terrence Bud Crawford being too good, in my opinion, bro. And for Bob Arum not being willing to foot the bill for that fight. Would he fight him for $40 million? Yes, Manny Pacquiao would do that shit because that's a huge-ass bag. That's more than he would get in any other fight. And, you know, he'd be willing to get knocked out. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, bro? You know, you lose to Terrence Crawford, you get $40 million. You know, in all likelihood, you get knocked out. Yes, he would do it for that amount of money. But I don't see that shit happening, and I've been saying that. They're saying that the deal that they supposedly had, you know, with some money in the Middle East, that investors fell through, bro. They never had the money, bro. They never had the money. I've been telling y'all this shit with smoke and mirrors from the team over at Top Rank and for ESPN. And so, rather than just getting an article, bro, about how the fight fell through, I want to know why nobody is doing their job. And asking people, yo, bro, who were the investors? Bob Arum, top rank. Who did y'all ever really talk to Manny Pacquiao? Were you ever really in negotiations or were you lying, bro? Nobody ever asked these people, is they lying when it's clear that they are lying, bro? But that's one piece of the puzzle, bro, that they saying that the fight, the deal has 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 now fell through. Bro, it had already fell through. It can't shit fall through if it was never standing on nothing, bro. The shit wasn't happening, bro. And I've been told y'all that shit. I've been told y'all shit. It's been over a month now since it was this big announcement coming from Terrence Crawford and his team and ESPN of who their big fight was going to be. And then we still don't know who he fighting this summer, bro. We still don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good look for Bob Aaron. It's not a good look for Top Rank. It's bad business, bro. I believe that people should stop talking about fights that ain't made, bro. Like, stop saying that you almost got this deal done, bro. Announce it to me when you got all your T's crossed and all your I's dotted, bro. So no surprise there. No surprise there whatsoever. What is surprising that I want to talk on as well in this video is that now there's a report coming out from Mike Coppinger, and there's an article out here saying that Manny Pacquiao is now in negotiations with Earl Spence Jr. I don't believe that shit one bit. And if this fight, let's say this were to happen, bro, I would criticize the shit out of Earl Spence, bro. And I'm a huge Earl Spence fan. He's number one on the knockout list. He's from Dallas, Texas, more specifically, DeSoto, Texas. I grew up in DeSoto, Texas. You feel what I'm saying? I am an Earl Spence fan. Gonna root for him no matter who he fighting. But I'm also gonna keep it real. And if he fights Manny Pacquiao, the same energy that I got for Terrence Crawford, Trying to fight Manny Pacquiao. When Manny Pacquiao ain't got no belt. When Manny Pacquiao ain't nothing but a money grab. The same shit applies to Earl Spence Jr. The only fight he need to be in is your Dennis Ugas or Terrence Bud Crawford. Unifying the division, bro. I don't care about Manny Pacquiao at this point. Let Manny Pacquiao be, bro. Let him get a bag. Let him fight whomever he want to fight. Now, the caveat to that is that if he's in negotiations with Manny Pacquiao, and the WBA says, look, man, we'll reinstate you. If you get a fight done with Earl Spence Jr., then we can reinstate you as a super WBA champion and move your Dennis Ugas back down to regular WBA champion. If that shit happens, then we are, it's, it's fair game. I would not criticize the fight. Just like if that shit happened with Terrence Crawford 
and um and Manny Pacquiao was elevated back to the Super WBA fight. I mean champion. If him and Terence Crawford somehow was to happen, as long as these fighters are unifying, I'm not knocking the shit. But if he fighting Manny Pacquiao, if Earl Spence was to fight Manny Pacquiao, which I don't believe is happening, I believe the Udinas Ugas fight is already made. I believe this is smoke and mirrors. I believe that this is something for Manny Pacquiao's team to keep him relevant, keep him keep attaching him to the big names in the division until we eventually find out who he's fighting, right? I don't believe they're in negotiations at all whatsoever. But if they do fight, if they are truly in negotiations and this fight somehow gets made between Earl Smith Jr. and Manny Pacquiao, and Manny Pacquiao ain't got his Super WBA belt, I'm criticizing the shit out of Earl Smith Jr. You hearing it here first. I'm going to criticize that shit, bro. I'm going to be all over that shit because I want him unifying, fighting the best, and trying to become undisputed like he said he was. Bro, you've done everything you said you was going to do up to this point, Earl Smith Jr. Keep that shit going. I believe he will. I believe this shit is all bullshit, bro. I believe this is 100% bullshit. And just point to it. He posted a tweet saying he wished Fox would post their schedule, meaning he already got a fight made. Why would he be so eager for them to post their schedule if his shit ain't already done? You understand what I'm saying to you, bro? Like, his shit is done already. He's fighting you, Dean, as who guys. So, he ain't... How the hell can he be negotiating with Manny Pacquiao at the same damn time, bro? How can he be doing that shit? It's impossible, bro. It's not happening. I'm predicting it. I'm calling my shot right here. Y'all know I'm good at fight predictions inside the ring. I'm bringing y'all one outside the ring. Manny Pacquiao and Earl Spence will not fight just like Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao will not fight. Manny Pacquiao, bro, wants no part of those two brothers right there, man. They want no two. I expect the article later on next week, maybe by tomorrow. Maybe in a few days from now, I expect the article to come out that now Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao negotiations fell through or some bullshit like that. Or for somebody from one of the teams to come out completely denying this shit, bro. They are not fighting, bro. Manny Pacquiao is going to ask for a ridiculous bag to fight Earl Spence. And Earl Spence has been ten toes down with what his goals are, bro, and he hasn't deviated from them. I'm not, I'm not believing this shit. I believe and what I hope for all three of these, these great fighters and great champions, I hope wholeheartedly that Terrence Crawford ends up eventually getting a fight made with Sean Porter or Keith Thurman. I predict that Keith Thurman, so I'm rolling with Keith Thurman. But if he fights one of those two, completely happy for him. I'm predicting that Manny Pacquiao will end up eventually fighting Mikey Garcia. I believe this whole Terrence Crawford shit and Earl Spence shit that Manny Pacquiao and them got going on right now, keep putting his name with these two, I believe they're trying to get Mikey Garcia to take less money. That's what I think. But I think Manny Pacquiao will eventually end up fighting Mikey Garcia. That's my thoughts. For Earl Spence, I think the Udinas Uga shit is signed, sealed, and delivered. Well, signed and sealed. It ain't been delivered to us yet because Fox ain't announced their schedule. But when Fox does announce their boxing schedule for the upcoming summer and the upcoming fall, Earl Spence versus Udinas Uga, I fully expect to be on there, bro. So the moral of the story is this. Don't believe every article that you read or everything that you hear. Now, I did post a video earlier this week that I'll address real quick and get y'all out of here about Jamal Charlo hiring Mark Breland. That shit was because that shit was announced directly on Jamal Charlo's Instagram or on his social media or whatever. And so I took that, ran with it, posted a video. Um, turns out he ain't hiring Mark Breland. You know what I'm saying? I put the disclaimer as a comment that's pinned on that video. Don't want y'all to think I ever mislead y'all on purpose, bro. Or did I ever try to do some clickbait type shit? That ain't what we do on this channel, bro. We try to give our opinions on shit that's really going on in the sport of boxing, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, my bad for that. My bad for that. We clean that up. And it is, if that ever happens again, which I'm sure it probably will with all the fake news that goes on in the boxing world, if we jump out too early, you know what I'm saying? If we misspeak, we're going to always correct ourselves on this channel because we are never too prideful to say that we was wrong. We are never too proud to admit when we got something wrong, bro. That's just how I'm coming. But as far as this shit right here, I'm not wrong, bro. Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao, they ain't in negotiations. Don't believe that shit. Don't take that shit serious. 
Don't act like the fight's gonna get done because Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao are not fighting, bro. The only caveat to that is that if somehow the WBA jumps in and elevates Manny Pacquiao back to the Super WBA champion, then it will be in play because I believe Earl Spence's only interest, only interest left in the PBC side, bro, for welterweight, is whoever got that Super WBA strap. That's what I believe, bro. And Manny Pacquiao ain't got that shit right now, so I don't think that fight is happening. But if somehow he gets elevated back to that shit, then that fight can't happen, bro. As far as Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao, they never had that 40 million, bro. They never had that 40 million. The shit was smoking mirrors. I hope Terrence Crawford and his team have moved on. I hope they're close to announcing, you know, a fight with a top contender. And I hope that they can give up this Manny Pacquiao pipe dream because it is just that. And I hope Earl Spence does the same. It's time for these two brothers to cement their own legacy. Let Manny Pacquiao be Manny Pacquiao and quit letting him attach his name to y'all, bro, with these bullshit-ass stories about him negotiating with y'all when he has no intention of fighting y'all, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. If you come through and watch this video, man, make sure you hit that like button on the way out. If you want to hit me up um, and have me collaborate with you or hop on a panel with you, you can reach out to my email, knockoutbox86 at yahoo.com. I appreciate y'all watching. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out here. Peace.